Now, given the recent announcement of an upcoming Mandalorian and Grogu movie from Jon Favreau, as well as that comment made by Charmin Obey Chinoy a couple weeks back now about how it was about time a woman shaped the future of a galaxy far, far away, which caused a bit of an uproar in the fan base, considering many other women had already done that, including the president of Lucasfilm for the past decade now, Kathleen Kennedy. Well, given all that, I think we all knew it was only a matter of time before rumors or reports started to come out from um, reliable sources that the Ray movie was going to be cancelled or put on hold indefinitely or whatever it might be. I mean, we all know how it works by now, right? Anything that causes any sort of commotion, like Obey Chinoy's comment did, or seems peculiar in any way, shape, or form, like the timing of the Mando movie announcement, Things like that will inevitably be used to fuel a new round of rumors about big changes to come at Lucasfilm. Rumors that, all too often, never come to pass. Like, how many times rumors or reports have claimed that Kathleen Kennedy was going to be fired, like, for real this time. No, trust me, bro, for real, it's happening this time. Or what about those rumors that Jon Favreau is leaving or has left Lucasfilm? Or was he instead fighting a civil war in Lucasfilm for the future of Star Wars and Disney was having him and Kennedy fight to the death in a cage match for the presidency of the company or something? I I don't know, that one kind of got a little out there as well. Anyway, my point is I knew a rumor or report or insider information leaking out about the Ray movie being cancelled would be coming soon enough after those aforementioned incidents or recent events. It was just a given. And sure enough, it's now being reported by World of Reels, who tells us only that they have a well-informed source, that there is creative differences between Stephen Knight, the writer of the Ray film, and Lucasfilm, and that apparently Disney is no longer all that confident in a Ray movie and it's going to be delayed indefinitely. And look, first of all, could this be true? Could the movie be delayed indefinitely? Well, of course it could be true. We need only look at what happened with the Disney Snow White and the Seven Dwarves movie, where the dwarves were, um, not dwarves, and the actress set to play Snow White, Rachel Ziegler, said some, um, not-so-flattering things about the original film that many consider a classic, of course, And she also made it sound like this new one was going to be about, I don't know, Snow White taking over the world or something, by the way she was talking? Anyway, after all that backlash, Disney decided to kind of go back to the drawing board, or go back to basics, and to rethink their approach with that movie. So it's certainly not impossible that after seeing the reaction to some of the things that Charmin Obeyed Chinoy had said, both recently and in the past, that they, Disney, may have stepped in and said... You know, maybe someone who once said they enjoy making men feel uncomfortable, even if it was said years ago and not in any way in context or relation to Star Wars fans. Maybe someone who once said that shouldn't direct a Star Wars movie that we're going to hope a lot of male fans go and see. I also think it's possible, given Kathleen Kennedy's track record with writers and directors and creative differences with them, where we've even had a director or directors fired halfway through filming, like Lord and Miller were on Solo, It certainly isn't a stretch to think she maybe is having creative issues with Stephen Knight, and he may have left, especially considering there have been other writers on this project already who have left or been let go after they too were not delivering the story or script Kennedy was apparently looking for. In other words, yes, again, this could be real, or it could be someone out there going off their own conjecture and figuring there's a good chance this could happen and reporting it like they have a inside source for it to gain more traction, and thus for them to get more attention with it. And since it's a story many out there want to be true, others are then quick to pick it up and run with it because, well, they want it to be true for one, but also because they know an article or video titled Ray Movie Gets Cancelled will get a ton of clicks and views. Hell, I can't or won't lie, as soon as I saw this news, I stopped the other video I was working on for today and started to work on this one. But here's the thing, there are only two ways we'll ever really know if this Ray movie gets cancelled. One would be Lucasfilm and or Disney coming out and saying it's been cancelled, or some very, very credible source that they've released information through before breaking the story for them. If you, for example, see the Hollywood Reporter running with this story, you can almost certainly believe it to be true. The other way, then, is if Kathleen Kennedy is no longer president of Lucasfilm, because I think as she goes, so goes the Ray movie. I think as long as she is there, as long as she is president of that company, she will do everything in her power to make that movie happen. I think there's a good chance she sort of sees Ray as her Star Wars legacy, and I don't know, maybe she just doesn't care that some don't like the character, 
or she just really wants Rey to be the one who rebuilds the Jedi Order to stick it to the fans who don't like her. However, I think if Kennedy isn't there to see this thing through, if she is fired at some point, or if her contract isn't renewed, keeping in mind it's up this coming October, roughly 10 months from now, I don't think the Rey movie ever happens under a different leadership. Whoever the next president of Lucasfilm will probably scrap it. And I highly, highly doubt she's going to be fired anytime soon, given her contract is again up in October, meaning it would be much, much easier to simply not renew it rather than go through the hassle and media shitstorm of having to fire her. Though I think even not renewing her contract would likely cause Disney a serious headache with the media, unless Kennedy herself is out there in front of it saying this was actually her choice to step away and to retire, which wouldn't be that shocking or hard to believe given she'll be 71 in October. I mean, one way or another, she is not going to be president forever. Her time at the helm is limited at this point. Though even if she does seem to willingly step down, some will no doubt assume it wasn't her choice. That behind the scenes, she is being forced out and they'll then further assume she's being fired to do away with this Ray movie. Because some fans, some male fans, they'll say, they were upset about what Charmaine obeyed Chinoy, the director Kennedy chose, had to say. Which could then very well be the reason, or one of them, why Kennedy selected her to direct in the first place, to act as this sort of insurance policy. Disney knows that if Kennedy is let go, and if the Ray movie doesn't happen, they'll have a mess on their hands. That it will seem like a negative reaction to the first female director of a Star Wars movie is what Disney is responding to, and they even fired Kennedy to keep the toxic fanbase happy. Though honestly here, though I do think that there is a chance this is either true or a lucky guess you could say that this will come to pass even if it isn't technically happening right now. Either way, I actually think the Ray movie is going to happen. Not saying that's what I want to happen, but I think if you're Disney, you let it happen because it'll lead to one of two outcomes for you that can work to your advantage. Either it's good and a surprise hit and that not only makes a ton of money for you, but then also sort of redeems or gets you some value out of the sequel trilogy, which is currently just kind of sitting there collecting dust. They're not really doing anything with it. Or it's a failure and then you can fully justify doing away with both Kennedy and the sequel trilogy and try something new and different, maybe even redoing the sequels altogether. And I know some think it's impossible that Disney will never ever retcon a whole trilogy, but that's mainly coming from people who think Disney actually has some sort of reverence for Star Wars, who think it's something special to them when it is not. To Disney, Star Wars is just another IP to be milked for profit. I think their handling of it is kind of proof of that. And if they think what they're doing with it is a dead end, if they don't think there's any viable future with the sequels, why would they keep them around? I mean, how many other studios out there remake films or restart entire franchises? It happens all the time. For example, DC is even hitting the reset button on their entire universe, so what makes you think it couldn't, to an extent, be hit with Star Wars? What do you think makes it different in the eyes of Disney when it all comes down to money? So anyway, my point here is that if you don't want the Ray movie to happen, I wouldn't get too excited by this news. Instead, it's the coming October which will tell us everything we need to know about the future of this film. If Kennedy is still president of Lucasfilm, if her contract is renewed, you can bet the Ray movie will happen. She will find a way to make it happen. But if she's not, if she's gone, if she is let go by Disney or walks away of her own free will, I would fully expect whoever replaces her to scrap the movie. Either way, only time is going to tell. Well, that's all I got for you this time. Now it's your turn to take to the comments below and tell me what you think about this one. Do you think the Ray movie has been cancelled and this information has leaked from a credible source? Or is this simply someone looking at what's going on and putting something out there based purely on conjecture? Whatever you do think though, leave a comment below and let's talk some Star Wars. And until next time, thanks for watching.